question time. Video two. So it's well and good to understand that. If you, if you didn't watch video one, you're like, where's video one? It's okay. We've got your back. Um, what happens when your partner doesn't sleep with you? Video one, we gave you the Uber answer that you're not broken. Everything's normal. And now Kathy delivers the tough question. Kathy Bartuli of TheIntimacyDojo.com. I'm Reed Mahalko from ReedAboutSex.com. Do your worst. All right. You ready? Yes. Okay. So Reed was giving some, in the first video, he gave some great overview of like how society is kind of broken and we don't understand um, how our bodies work and mm -hmm. how connection works and how there are ways to fan the flame. Um, even if things are kind of waning. Mm -hmm. What what do you do if your partner doesn't even want to fan the flame? So everything's waned. Your partner is like, nope, not interested. I don't care about what society thinks or whatever. I just understand that I'm not getting laid and I feel crappy and I don't feel connected to my partner. What do I do? Grab me. And Money. Cold, hard cash. Coffee? Coffee Baileys? Maybe some grapes? Credit card. Credit card. We're good. Let's go. No, um, obviously I'm being a jackass. Uh, so here's the deal. I'm I'm gonna say uh, this is tricky because yeah, there's a lot of different ways it goes. Everyone has a unique experience. You need to start having the conversation, and you need to do it in a way that's not blaming. So hopefully the first video kind of sets the context, and you're like, oh, so this is normal. Nothing's wrong. And then if it's normal and nothing's wrong, then it's not my partner's fault mm -hmm. or my fault. So hopefully some of that anxiety and frustration and blame and guilt or whatever mm -hmm. lifts. If you can't sufficiently lift it, go see a therapist to talk this through a little bit. Um, because you talking directly to your partner is not going to make them feel great, probably. I'm not saying hide the conversation. But go get some a professional ear. So you can talk at least talk about it in a call. And start practicing talking about it and letting your emotional stuff come up and let it be out so that you can be more present with your partner because understand culture is having its way with your partner too. And maybe they're just not interested because for whatever their reasons are, which we cannot guess, because there's everyone's gonna have their own reasons. You can ask them. But you coming to them, being more compassionate, more open, and, and direct and forthcoming in a way that really lands on them, that you're committed to the relationship and that you love them, and that one of the things you want to do is experience physical pleasure and physical intimacy with them as a part of the relationship and a part of sharing the connection. When you can come at them not so angry and frustrated and blaming there's a possibility that they will open up. And then what I would advocate for is as you have those conversations and you both might want to have professional listeners to talk to, because remember going to your friends for support isn't always the smartest thing because mm -hmm. culture is having its way with your friends as well. Um, geeking out on ideas for exploring Intimacy and reconnection um, and, and surrounding yourself with really good information that's presented in a fun way and not blaming and shaming and invites the two of you to explore is usually what I advocate and advise people to start doing, like taking little baby steps, which in the beginning has usually has very little to do about sex and more to do about connection and practicing getting into your bodies. So things like massage. And I don't mean a massage like, hey, how about a massage? I mean like, no, for real. It's like, let me just rub your feet. Yeah. And practice helping each other relax and de-stress and get into your bodies. Because when you're not in your body and you, you're not a geek, so you don't know how to get into your body and, and stir up your own arousal, um, most people are just so high on cortisol and stress mm -hmm. that they, they couldn't feel the spark even if the, if the flame was on high, yeah. they're just so locked up. So again, I want to keep these videos relatively short. So can we come back and go and go a little deeper into what if that person's not, your partner's not willing to re-explore this? Is that credit card? <laughs> Leave comments below. Let us know what your questions are around this. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there.
And please subscribe to this channel there if you'd like to see more Goofy, Reed and Kathy. There's more videos there. I didn't see them. Why are they there?